What happens when one village is plagued by nightmares? Evil forces that take away the peace of your lands and even kidnap your loved ones. Ariel has to step things up in order to stop those forces and bring back the peace to not just him, but the people he cares for the most. This is your friendly beast gamer named Kool, here with an early review of Ario on Xbox Series X. Ario promises a Metroidvania beat em up and platform experience. Sadly, only a few of those genres are true, as Ario, you are fashioned with your wrist crossbow that features both regular and explosive arrows. It is a linear movement where you go either right or left leading to platforming and light puzzle solving. Ario has a meter for both his melee attack and his ground pound attack. Honestly, they're one and the same. The melee should not be a meter burn to be honest, but they need some level of challenge where you have to decide to fight or flight. It's quite easy to jump over enemies, but you do have a dodge feature with a roll. That kind of goes through enemies and can be used for lower obstacles. The developers also talked about a tower defense mechanic, but I can't consider this as a feature. There are two scenarios where you go into an FPS mode on an artillery bow. When you hold down the shoot button RB, you can control the bow's movements. The arrow, I mean, sorry. Yeah, you can control the arrow on the direction it goes. It is super slow and needs a speed control button because even though everything is in slow motion, if you miss, that can cost you. The second time is when you have to protect an elder from being executed. That is pretty much the only time this happens, except for when you have to guide arrows to blow up a, you know, a lower, like, a, I want to say, what is it called? A blower machine or something like that? Like, a, mm, I can't find a word for it, but yeah, you got to blow up this machine in a prison. But that does not give me a... Um, defense in my opinion, like a tower defense in my opinion, it's weird. The enemies are just as bland where you only see five different sets and two bosses. You reach a lava monster that is chasing you for whatever reason, only fixated on you and nothing else, which is weird. And then you finally have a face down with a wizard. Yeah, in a factory. Quite simple, we just have to hit the highlight blocks to lower the lava. And then it will grab you, so you will shoot it in the eye. This is what I'm talking about, the lava monster. And voila, you beat the boss. I think that is enough for the spoiler portion of the review. It was... Honestly, I kind of wish there was more to it. Ario is a pretty game to look at, but not much else to explore. For a linear platformer, it feels empty, but in a pretty painting. The first thing you will need to do is put on subtitles, which... Ario does not tell you to do, and there is no option to do so while in game, but I digress. Audio is not a not that bad either, but not on a dynamic scale. It's a pretty much straightforward game. It's like, yeah, you're expecting more, especially with the stills and nicely articulated still cutscenes that happen. But yeah, I feel like they could have grew more from this. Now, it sounds like I've been talking about the bad since the beginning, but honestly, this is where I really talk about the bad. And oh boy, there's a lot to unpack here. Input delays happen often, especially when your speed does not match the enemies. I expect to shoot quickly with my bow, but two shots and it seems to be a weird cooldown before I can shoot again. The roll, which is thought to dodge on the enemies, gets stuck at times or has some weird glitch and I get hit and end up dying. Also, why are there no drops from enemies? I would think with a Metroidvania style game, Ario will have some upgrades, different type of ammo sets, uh, enemies dropping coin or some type of, you know, reward system, but there is none. It's just bland. You take out the enemy and they just vanish into a cloud of smoke of some sort. It just is, it doesn't feel at challenging at all. And it's like at the end of the game, when I beat it, it just abruptly goes into credits. So I'm like, I'm left asking questions. Did I win? Are the people safe? Did I save my mother? I don't know. <laughs> Ario could have been something interesting, but being that I beat the game shy of two hours, it felt underwhelmed and left uneasy. I was like, this can't be it. What is the Metroidvania? The actual tower defense? Is there any other modes? Nope. I'm not sure what the intent here is with Ario, and I could... 
not give any of the further details, but being that it will drop on March 28th of this year, I'm not sure about that. I'm just like, it, it, it leaves me underwhelmed. Like, I felt like I was playing a tech demo, but apparently this is the full game, and I'm like, okay, that's very awkward. So, final thoughts are that Ariel gets two beastly paws out of five. These are my thoughts, keep in mind, and my opinion is just that reviews just give you an idea of what to expect. I did get this as a free copy to review, but wow. I was not expecting cooked chicken with no seasoning. It's like going to a barbecue and everybody forgot to actually cook the food properly to give it flavor. And I don't, I don't understand what's going on here. So I'm, it just leaves me just with many questions. Those are my thoughts, and I leave you with that, and I hope you check out more of my reviews, previews, and news. Hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And I will check y'all all next time. As always, be stout.